Hi, welcome back to the Spring Boot tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about the at exception handler annotation with an example. So let's begin. First of all, this at exception handler annotation is not specific to Spring Boot. It is also a part of the Spring framework. So let's understand this with an example. So the purpose of this at exception handler annotation is mainly to handle the exception as the name suggests. And this annotation can be used at the controller level. So this at exception handler annotation only handle the exceptions at the controller level. So any exceptions that occur within the controller and it is going to handle those exceptions. It cannot handle the exceptions at the global level. In order to handle the exceptions at the global level, we need to use the another annotation which we are going to talk in the next video. So again, in order to understand the best way to understand this annotation is by looking at the example. So let's jump into the STS. So I have already created a Spring Boot project exception handler and I have created the controller package, the entity package, the exceptions package and the service package. So inside the employee, we have a few fields. ID, name, age, and location. And we have a parameterized constructor as well as the no argument constructor and the normal setter and getters. And we have a two string method. And if you open the employee service, inside the static block, we are loading a few employees data, the employee objects. And also we have a method get employee. And this will accept the employee ID as the parameter and it will uh, loop through the list of employees and it will get the uh, employee record and inside our controller we are auto wire the service the employee service and we have written a method uh, the get mapping to get the single employee based on the employee id so at this point of time if we run our application it will work as we expected so let me open the browser and now if I navigate to localhost 8080 slash employees slash 2 and we do get the employee data the employee id 2 the name is employee 2 age 25 location India so now if I try to access the employee id which is not available in the uh, database or if it is not in the list let's say 56 and we do get a white label error page and if you look at this error uh, this is not a good practice like because we are entirely we are not handling the exception as of now and we are printing the stack trace inside in the browser okay so we are exposing a lot of data to the user or the, to the end user so we have to handle this exception properly okay so in order to display this white error page white label error page we have to send uh, the error response in the JSON format so that the uh, uh, end user will understand or we can mm, the whoever is uh, consuming the rest API or whoever consuming the endpoint he can uh, read that response and he can show a proper message to the user okay so let's see how we can handle that using the at exception handler annotation so let's go to the spring tool suit first of all let me stop the server and what i will do is let's go to the uh, first of all we need to create an uh, error response object so let's inside the exceptions package i'm going to create a new class i'm going to call this error object and this will contains a few fields private int status code private string message private long timestamp I will also add the timestamps for the future reference and I will generate some setters and getters.
and also I'm going to create a constructor, the parameterized constructor. All right. So now we have this error object, the custom error object. So now let's go ahead and create a custom exception, which is employee not found exception. So inside this exceptions package, I'm going to create a new class, which is employee not found exception. This will extends the runtime exception extends runtime exception. Let's quickly generate the constructor employee not found exception. And inside this, I'm going to call this super method. That's it. And I will also pass a message string message because when the user like when we are throwing the employee not found exception we are going to pass a message to this exception so for that i'm going to accept the message as the parameter and let's pass it to the super method okay, let's save this so now we have created the error object as well as the custom exception which is employee not found exception so now inside our employee service so we have this method get employee and we are directly returning the employee uh, um, the employee dot get method so first we need to check whether the employee is available or not so let's write the if condition if the employee is present then we are going to okay let's do let me flip this so if the employee is not present then we are going to throw an exception throw new employee not found exception and we are going to pass the message employee not found for the id let me append the id otherwise we are going to return the employee the employee dot get okay so let's save this so now inside the controller we have this get mapping so everything is done all we need to do is we have to create a handler method to catch the exception or to handle the exception so public this is going to return a response entity response entity of type error object handle exception i'm going to annotate this with a add exception handler annotation exception handler annotation this will receive a parameter which is the exception type which is employee not found exception let me import the error object as well so inside this i'm going to create the error object error object okay so inside this error object we have not created the empty constructor or the default constructor so let's actually uh, pass the parameters to it this this constructor dot so http status dot not found dot get or value okay and second parameter is uh, the message so exception dot get message and the third parameter is the let me see what is there in the third parameter 
timestamp okay so system dot current time milliseconds okay so now we are going to return the response entity return new response entity which is of type error object and we're going to pass the error object error object and HTTP status to not found all right so now we now any exceptions that occur inside the employee controller that is going to handle by this exception handler okay so inside our service we are throwing this exception and this will come to the controller and in the controller we have annotated this handler method with the at exception handler and this method is going to handle that exception and it is going to frame the error object and it will return it to the client so let's test our work i will save all the files and let's run the file so let's go to the browser and now first of all let's try for the valid employee id which is three and you can see we are getting the uh, employee data so now let's try for 67 hit enter you can see the status code is 404 message employee not found for the id 67 and the timestamp okay so this is how we can handle the exceptions at the controller level using the at exception handler annotation okay so you can also use up one more way which is instead of passing the employee not found exception here inside the parameter you can also pass it to the annotation employee not found exception dot class and uh, you can provide a message employee not found so let's save this it will restart the application and now if i navigate to the browser and let's try for 78 and hit enter you can see the status code 404 the message employee not found and the timestamp so this way you can handle the exceptions at the controller level using the at exception handler annotation that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video